create a quiz using Adobe Captivate. By default, when the learner is taking the test and answers each question, as soon as he or she hits a submit button, the score is immediately passed on to the LMS. But now, with the new feature in Adobe Captivate 6, which is Submit All, the learners will be allowed to review the answers to their questions and even change the responses before they submit all the answers at once, once they are done with all the questions. Let's see the workflow. So here I have created a quiz with 10 questions and uh, the current functionality is to submit the answer after each question. Now let's see how we can change the functionality to submit all. Very easy. Just go to quiz, quiz preferences and under quiz settings, that is this new option named submit all. Just check this. And you will notice that as soon as you check this, the default uh, required option is changed to answer all, which requires the learners to answer all the questions when they are attempting this assessment. You can uh, easily go and change it to whatever is required. If you want to keep this quiz as optional uh, to the learners or you, you do not want to mandate answering all the questions, you can go and change it. But by default, it's answer all. So let's stick to the default option, which is answer all and hit OK. Now let's see how this functionality works after the submit is changed to submit all in all the question slides. I will go and hit F4 to preview this project. So here's the preview. I will start the assessment. Here are some instructions. I've read them. And now here uh, you can answer the question. Click next. Answer the next question. Click next. Let me just skip one or two questions. And now when I click submit all, I get a warning that one or more questions is in incomplete answer all the questions to continue. So this is the case when we have uh, mandated it as answer all. But if you keep it as uh, optional as well, the learners will get a warning saying that some of the questions are left unanswered. Are you sure you want to submit all? So uh, and they will get an option of yes or no. So they get a warning there as well. But let's click OK here for now. And uh, let's go back and try answering all the questions. So you can see that I can easily uh, change the answers at any time, even after answering the question and clicking next. So here, uh, let me just change one or two questions, answer this and answering the questions. I'm not sure about the correct answers. Just clicking one of the choices and here I go. So once I answer the last question and click next or submit all, it will bring up a dialogue, which is this, which says submit all. You have answered all questions. What do you want to do next? Do you want to submit all answers or you want to return to quiz? So you, you can click submit all answers and the scores will be passed to the LMS. But if you as a learner want to review the quiz one more time, you can click return to quiz button and that will take you to the first question in the quiz. So I'll click this and it takes me to question one. And now here I can again review the questions when I'm feel when I feel confident that my answers are correct. I can click submit all and then I can click submit all answers. I will close this and let me show you uh, how you can modify that warning dialog. So the first thing that you would like to do is modify the text inside that caption because sometimes you have to follow your corporate uh, writing guidelines and you want to make some edits to that text. What you can do is in preferences under quiz settings, there is this option named submit all messages and here you can modify this text to make it compatible to your corporate writing gu guidelines. And click OK here and then you can also change the look and feel of the uh, the caption box. So we'll go to object style manager and here you can see the runtime dialog and here you will find the look and feel of the dialog and you can easily go and change the colors to whatever you find suitable for your uh, dialog box. These uh, dialog box uh, themes are coming from the theme colors that you have selected for your uh, course. 
if you have a corporate theme and uh, you feel that you want to uh, modify these as well for your themes you can do that easily using the object style manager that's all for submit all it's a pretty neat feature do give it a try if you feel a requirement for uh, allowing your users or learners to submit all answers at once once they finish the quiz thanks for watching the tutorial